So, y'all, let me tell y'all. Let me turn my radio off. I'm in the car, about to go pick my little monster, Caleb, up from school. But I also have to go and return my next Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation for the second time, y'all. I was color matched for Mocha. It was too yellow. I took my Urban Decay foundation with me and I ended up getting um, Deep Rich and I tried it on today and I'm oh my god thank goodness I didn't do a video on it because it was, it was so bad y'all it was so first of all it was too dark it oxidized and it was like too dark um and it just had a really very very great cast I mean if I was going to be at the funeral in the casket, it, it would have been there, honey, all the way. But we're not going for that. So, I don't have uh, any makeup right now. I'm going to go back to the next store, take this one back, and see if I can find my final shade. I um, will be recording soon, so I will see y'all soon. But, yeah, I'll let y'all know what happened. I don't know. We're going to see about this. Ooh, it's hot people i'm latoya 47 welcome back and if you are new welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a review on the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation now on a clip before you already know the issue i had with finding my shade so what I ended up doing, instead of buying a full bottle of foundation for the third time, I got a sample of cocoa, and the sample looks like this. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is trying the sample and seeing what happens with the sample. Now, I will not be using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop primer because I didn't think that that would work out for me. Um, so what I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Master Prime on the outer parts of my face because that's what I usually do all the time and I love this primer and then I'm going to be using the next Angel Veil on my pores because they are very large yes yeah, child this child got large pores y'all so I'm just going to be doing this how I usually do it and then we're going to put on this foundation. We're going to do a full face here. I'm going to try to record a full face now. Buying too slow. And then we're going to test this foundation out. See if this color works out. Now, if this color don't work, I'm going to keep this footage. And I'm going to just add it to the video if I can find my match. I'm hoping that I can because I love NYX and their products so yes shout out to Alyssa Ashley for being able to help collaborate with the 40 shades that they came out with I mean if you guys have me on Instagram you see my post you see me inside the next store is amazing and very overwhelming but amazing so okay I want to take my this is a Mulani foundation brush, and it's dirty, y'all. Apologies. I tried this yesterday, and I had the shade, um, what shade did I have? I had a deep rich, and it was just too dark and very, very gray on me because I have a red undertone. And I think the key to this foundation is finding your undertone, but it's kind of just like, it's so many that you will look at and say, oh, well, that might match me, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. And I'll wet my brush with my e.l.f. mist just to wet the brush a little bit because I like doing my foundation that way. Okay. From the looks of it, it has a neutral undertone on my skin. But I've seen this shade look more red on other people. But for some reason on me, it's not pulling that shade. And um, 
I'm recording from my phone, y'all, so forgive me. I got to get back to recording, and my iPad is locked at the moment. So I have to take it to the Apple Store to get it unlocked and all of that stuff. And got to get a backdrop, and we working on it. Slowly but surely, it'll come together. But okay, so this is the sample right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit more of it on so you guys can it doesn't look bad at all it's a very neutral undertone though and i'm used to my foundations having a red undertone because my skin pulls more of a reddish orange but we're gonna see here it don't look bad it's not looking like it's too well in the camera it doesn't it looks like it's my exact skin tone but in the mirror here that i'm looking in it looks a little bit darker but i don't mind that seeing that's how i contour and i highlight i have like one or two foundations that are a little bit darker and i prefer them to be darker than lighter but then this foundation tends to oxidize so since it oxidizes we're going to just see how this goes so far. This is what it is, y'all. Um, I didn't have, I don't have everything over here that I'm supposed to be grabbing and that's off. But y'all know I don't do a lot of, I'm getting into this makeup thing, y'all. Y'all know I don't always do my makeup on camera. I have done a foundation review before, but y'all know how that go. So I'm going to pause, get my concealer, and come back. Okay, so the concealer I'm going to be using is the ColourPop Concealer. In, this is the old number. This is Rich Tan 65. And I'm just going to put that up under my eyes right here. And we're going to just highlight up under here a little bit. I need a new one. This one is like dang near long, y'all. But... We're going to work with it. So, I have my wet beauty blender. And I'm just going to press it in. We're going to see how this goes. So far, it don't look bad. Because the other one, I really tried. And y'all, I did my whole face. And I knew before I even got to the point where I was setting my highlighter. It wasn't working. And I was just like, oh my God. I was, it was just pulling too dark. And that's my fault. I knew, should have known Deep Rich wasn't my shade. But I took my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation with me. And I'm in 12. It's 12 point something, but it's 12. It's like the last shade. And it matched that shade to the T, but... It oxidizes and to me the Urban Decay foundation it doesn't oxidize like that so okay now I'm gonna take my Maybelline here I don't know if my camera will focus okay and this is in 30 and I'm gonna set my under eye with this Ooh, I'm doing a little bit of a mess oh that's a lot <laughs> so we're gonna see how this go i don't know i don't let my under eye stuff sit for too long and i don't have my contour stuff up here this video is everywhere y'all y'all have to excuse me but um i don't let it sit for too long because i don't like like totally like baking so sometimes i do but not today i'm just gonna just wipe it off and I'm looking in this mirror okay now it is time to contour okay so I'm gonna try to use my black radiance to contour I'm trying to see what's going on here if this one's gonna work it don't look that bad but you know sometimes it takes a full face for you to be able to see you know how everything is coming together so that's what we're gonna do here i'm 
I'll grab another contour palette because this one don't seem like it's doing it. So usually when it's not, I use my City Color Contour Palette and it looks like this. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got it from Ross. I think. So what I'm going to do is continue my face. And then I'm going to come back and let you see what it looks like all put together. And then we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, so this is my finished face. I um, have on Anastasia Caramel with the Fenty Beauty Gloss on top of it. And I have on the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. But the reason why I'm coming back to you guys, if you look at the side of my face and you see my neck, it's like two totally different colors like totally I'm like very red on the tongue I mean it looks good on camera I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm looking in the mirror and I see gray still so I'm just thinking for me personally I don't think my shade exists <laughs> I've just is my third try and it's like so it looks like I can tell the demarcation from the makeup that's on my face and my neck. And normally, I mean, like I have foundations that are darker, but they have a more red undertone. So it ends up working. This, I have an appointment today, y'all, and I can't go out like this. So literally, this is going to be my second time, no lie, wiping this off and... <laughs> It makes me feel so bad because I wanted to like this foundation. I was so excited, but it's not going to happen. This is like the third one, and I was in the store yesterday, and I swatched the other shades. And, you know, they go by cool and neutral and warm, and the warm ones that I tried didn't work. I think Mocha was neutral, I remember. That was the first one I had got. Deep Rich is warm, I believe, but it's just too dark for me. And then this one that I have now is Coco, and it almost worked, but it, no, nah, y'all. It's like too, it's pulling too gray on me. And I'm so disappointed because I really wanted to love it. Y'all know I love drugstore foundations. And um, I love NYX, period. I have a lot of NYX products and everything. And oh, I wanted to like it, but I was telling one of my YouTube friends, Tamika, we were talking about it. And so now you can see this video. It didn't work again you guys but i wanted to record this so that i could see you guys well you know communicate put a video out there it didn't work y'all i'm so upset i really tried but i do have a sample of the fenty beauty so i'll probably be trying that next and we'll see how that goes i'm disappointed I like, I'm so disappointed, but it didn't, I, I mean, I, I should have took a picture so you guys could see how it looked, but I think if you pay attention on the camera, you could see like, there was, see it's not there now, there was demarcation from my face and my neck. I don't know, I'm not the type of person that blends foundation down to my neck either, I just don't, but usually... You know, whatever I'm wearing, it, it looks good. But, yeah. So, sadly, I didn't get to go out and wear it, do a wear test, anything like that. I can say that it does set good on the skin. It didn't feel drying to me. And I didn't even do the transfer test. I was going to do that, but, hey. So, yeah, this is my video, y'all, for the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. I don't think my shade is out there. 
Let me know if any of y'all had this problem. I think I would have to mix two different shades. And I'm the type of person to where, even if it's not a high-end foundation, I mean, I don't like mixing my foundations. So, yeah. But, this was my little first impression. I said a review. I meant first impression in the beginning. But, yeah. I tried, y'all. It didn't work. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go back for the fourth time and see, but I literally swatched every shade, even the neutral undertone ones that I know neutral is not for me. I've been wearing makeup for many years, so I'm kind of used to, you know, everybody got their vibe and they know their shades. So, yeah, I'm just real disappointed. I thought it was going to go better, but... I hope this video is helpful to somebody. I mean, I don't know. I think <laughs> I've seen so many videos and I was just like, oh, it's so pretty. But And I love a matte foundation. But yeah. Didn't work out. I'll update you guys later on and let you guys know if I ended up finding something or whatever. If any of y'all out there had this problem too, let me know because I feel so bad. I wanted it to work. But I gotta go, y'all. I got an appointment this morning, so I gotta get changed and everything. So I am Toyo 47 I thank you guys for tuning in. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. If you like, I would love to have you a part of my family. And I will see you guys on the next one. Love y'all.